Nick speaking, and welcome to this video. Uh, right, day nine of the Warboss Tay painting challenge. Uh, we're in week two now, and uh, my task is to paint all of the hair and skin um, on this Dark Elder army. So I've started with uh, board number one out of the four boards that I've got, um, and that's with the witches on. I've started with the, the hardest board, uh, and the board that's got the most skin on. So I've been painting for five and a half hours. Um, I've done two layers of that uh, Celestra Grey um, on these witches. And um, yeah, basically it finished the, the first coat. So really happy. Um, like I said, it's the, the hardest unit I feel. Uh, the Hellions, I didn't quite get around to. Didn't have enough time for them. They've got a reasonable amount of skin on as well. But um, what I do is just give you a little bit of a sweep and then I'm gonna bring a couple of models out. You can see them a bit closer. So that is a sweep of the units. There's 30 witches here. Okay, just uh, bring a couple in, just so you can get a little bit uh, closer on the detail. Who should we have? Uh, this one here, why not? So yeah, they've got skin in all different types of places, um, like ripped trousers, some of them have got them on the waist, um, they've all got one arm, um, which was also not a problem, but a bit finickety, because some of the arms, like this one, for example, had like a, a little band around the arm, actually had to paint around. Uh, the gloves, some of the gloves had like little holes in as well, uh, showing some skin. And let's show you one with a waist. Here we go. So I've got some of these. Like they got um, a sexy outfit on, <laughs> uh, showing their belly buttons. So yeah, quite a lot of work. So, um, obviously uh, tomorrow I'm going to continue basically just painting the skin. I'll carry on starting with the Hellions um, and just really go from there. Um, I'm hoping um, to put another good few, few hours in tomorrow and maybe finish the base coats of the skin. Uh, but we'll see how much time I get. Um, right, so I'm going to go on to the daily question and then I've got something exciting to uh, talk about um, in a minute about the fluff of my army. Okay, so uh, day nine question is uh, what is your favourite fictional universe? What is it about the setting that really motivates you? And it's quite an apt question actually because what I want to talk to you about um, the fluff of this army sort of ties in to my answer. And I think you probably know what the answer is going to be. Uh, my answer is Star Trek. I am a huge, huge Star Trek fan. Um, and yeah, that's, I mean, the reason why I like Star Trek is probably the same reason as, as most people like it. Um, it's really good storytelling, um, really good characters, um, and it's in space, and it's got aliens in. <laughs> um, you know, it's just, just really good um, television, and um, really, really enjoy it. So, yeah. Right, um, so, uh, the fluff. Um, I'm going to set up the camera actually first um, into a different format and then I want to have a quick chat about um, my conclusions for this army. Okay, so um, a few videos ago I mentioned about this guy, we were talking about fluff, I didn't really have any fluff. Um, and I suggested that this guy here reminded me of the Kazan from Star Trek Voyager. Um, now, some of you may not know what that is, so what I've done is I've printed out, not necessarily just for you to look at, but really for some reference material for myself as well, um, some pictures of some Kazan. So, let's have a look. There's one, two, and three. And I think it's the hair which um, is making me think about this guy um, as a Kazan. So, um, that's what I was thinking because I had to work out what colour to paint the hair um, and with inspiration from uh, these guys here um, I thought it would be pretty cool to paint the hair similar to these um, and thus that gave me the idea of how about just basing the whole army on the Kazan. Uh, now if you're unaware uh, the Kazan basically are um, a species 
Um, I believe the home planet's been destroyed or overtaken. I'm uh, not 100% sure on that actually. Um, but uh, basically, yeah, they are running like uh, sects. Uh, there's 17 different sects or factions. Uh, they fight among themselves. Um, each sect tend to have their own um, source that they need to sort of protect, like water, for example, uh, that type of, of scenario. Um, and the sects change from day to day, um, and the leaders change from day to day. Um, and they sort of, it does remind me of a, a bit Dark Aldar ish, um, you know, a bit rogue as such. So I thought it'd be pretty cool to. to basically use the Kazon as the inspiration for my army. So I've come up with a name for the army. It's not it's not exactly very imaginative, but it does me because I'm not really a fluff person. And I'm going to call the army uh, the Kazon Cabal. Seems to work quite well. Uh, now I also mentioned um, in my other videos that I'm going to do some freehand on the vehicles. Um, and I um, was wondering what to do, obviously originally with Dark Elder symbols, but um, what I've also printed out on this piece of paper is some Kazan text, and this is the only text that I could find uh, from the Kazan, but um, I was thinking I might actually use this for the freehand on my vehicles. Um, I think that's pretty cool, would um, sort of match in the army quite well. I can always change this around a little bit if I want to. It doesn't have to be quite as detailed. I may not do all those little dots, maybe just the main symbols. Um, I thought it was quite interesting as well when I investigated slightly further. This is a Kazon ship. And um, yeah, look at the coloration. Oranges and browns. <laughs> That is a pure coincidence because obviously I'm using oranges and browns, although my orange is obviously um, a lot brighter. Um, and of course, I'm still using the very pale uh, grey sort of dark Aldar skin, so I'm not going to be using these skin colours. So they're not going to be 100% Kazan, but um, at least I've got a little theme for my army. Um, and for me, um, <laughs> who's really not into the fluff and stuff, um, that's actually. Pretty decent theme, so I'm happy with that. But <laughs> let me know what you think uh, in the comments below. Um, yeah. Okay, so I need to get back to painting, so I'm going to carry on painting that skin, and um, I'll be back with another video tomorrow. Thanks for watching.